News Hub can reveal rebel MP Gurdav Sharma has the financial backing of a wealthy businessman who says money is no object. The Prime Minister is yet to set a date for the Hamilton West by-election triggered by Sharma's resignation, but is already attempting to paint Labour as the underdog. Here's political editor Jenna Lynch again. 2020, Jacinda Ardern on the campaign trail with rising star Gaurav Sharma in Hamilton West. And back they trot for a by-election, but this time on opposing teams. My hope would have been it just wouldn't happen at all. Hopes are free, democracy is not. By-elections cost about $1.2 million to run, funded by you. Uh, it's a waste of taxpayers' money. I completely acknowledge uh, you know, the cost of the by-election uh, and, and, and it is unfortunate that this is what it has come to. It's come to this because Sharma was convinced the PM was going to kick him out of Parliament using the waka jumping legislation, spurred on by the Labour Party recommending that Gaurav Sharma be expelled from the party. And you know, I preempted it, and what I want to make sure is that people of Hamilton West have a voice in Parliament, whoever they choose. Where did he get this idea that you were going to waka jump? I, unfortunately, I have. No idea. So off to the polls you go, Hamiltonians. Expensive not just for the taxpayer, but a raid on political parties' piggy banks ahead of election year. What's your war chest looking like for a bike? Oh, look, I mean, we're going to be ready to go. Uh, we're going to have a great candidate. We're going to have a great campaign. The Labor Party um, always puts money away for a rainy day. Uh, it's going to be very hard for me to, to run this by election. I don't have the machinery, I don't have the similar amount of funds. But News Hub can reveal Sharma has cash if he wants it. Roshan Nauhria, a wealthy Indian businessman and former leader of the failed People's Party, has told News Hub he will both bankroll Sharma himself and seek donations from others to help out too, saying, I will support him financially 100%, wholeheartedly. Doesn't matter the money, whatever he needs. Well, look, there's lots of people who have offered to, um, you know, uh, provide support. Labour trying to label itself the long shot before anyone has even picked a candidate. Uh, in recent times, we have been the underdog in that seat. Uh, and I do think it would be a, a, you know, a very robust and tough by-election. So they're not the underdogs. You know, they've got a huge machinery behind them. Managing expectations in case Labour gets trounced in the Tron. Jenna Lynch, News Hub.